Rome was not built in a day. Neither was Biotechnica. And definitely not your career. You cannot build your career in one day. It takes time. It took 10 years to build what you are today. Like you pass your class 10th, then your bachelor's, your master's, and then probably some uh, job or training you did or PhD. It takes so much of time to build things. You know, destructive thing, thing takes minutes. Constructive thing takes time. Now, molecular biology is one such thing. This particular field has evolved throughout the last 50 years. The, the way Watson and Crick discovered the DNA, the double helix, from that day till today, molecular biology has evolved like nothing. And this, this particular field is going to boom in the future because any and every lab requires molecular biology. And that is the reason we are starting with molecular biology internship. And here are few pointers which will make you understand why you need molecular biology internship more than ever. The first and foremost is gaining practical skills. Practical knowledge cannot be imparted just like this. You have to really get your hands dirty on the lab desk. Then only you get to know, right? Of course, theory part is important. Of course, data analysis is important, but wet lab is also important. So gaining practical knowledge and skills in molecular biology is very important. That to the data analytical skill, theoretical skill, as well as the lab skill. And all of this is covered in the molecular biology internship, which we are starting from 15th of June. And in that, you're getting training from an IASC scientist, from a JNU trained scientist, and of course, SH SHRM Biotech. So this is all about the practical knowledge which we are going to give. The next part will be, you know, like for example, CRISPR. So CRISPR was not there five years or seven years ago, but now it is there. So newer things, newer techniques are getting added into molecular biology bouquet every day. So you are going to get exposure to the latest technological advancements and latest instruments also, and you'll be able to work on, on it, for example, qPCR. So that's about, um, and for, for example, primer designing. So all this is very important. So exposure will be happening exposure to latest technological advancements in the molecular biology. The third point is building a professional network. You see, if I make a call, I can reach out to any CEO of any biotech company in Bangalore. That's my network, right? Or I can reach out to, in, in fact, anywhere in India, if it's a biotech company, I can reach out to them and they will respond to me because the CEO would be knowing me personally, right? So that's a network. I can pull off things. The same way, if you pull off things. If you are able to do that, if you are able to reach out to people and get the job done, that's network. Network is your net worth. Like Ambani is Ambani because of the money which he has in the share market, right? The same way your share market is your network. Your network is your net worth. So when you will attend this particular internship, you will network with various other scientists who are also working in this domain. Plus you'll be able to write this in your CV that you were trained by uh, IAC scientists, so you will be, you know, getting more leverage over others in this competitive world. So that's about building network. Now the next point which I have for you is personal and academic growth and development. So uh, this comes very important and handy for people who want to pursue their PhD. Uh, when you will go for, you know, your PhD interviews, like after you're qualifying your CSI, and they're going to ask, why do you want this? What prior skills you already have? Because of course, the project guides don't want to hire untrained people, right? So when you will reproduce this certificate from Biotechnica and IAC incubated lab that you have been trained here, your chances of selection is very high, right? So that's where personal and academic growth will happen. And of course, personal growth as in, you know, you get to learn to communicate to a lot of, uh, you know, soft skills like uh, working in a team and communication, communicating effectively, presentation skills, all that you will learn here. Now, the last part, you will be able to contribute to the scientific research and advancement because you never know, you join us for an internship and um, the scientist likes you, he or she may recruit you, give, he may give you a job uh, or she may give you a job or maybe he or she may publish papers with you jointly or maybe she will uh, hire you as a part-time or a full-time worker or a scientist or a uh, assistant. You never know, you can land a job also, right? So all you have to keep in mind is you are getting started today this particular internship is going to be the precursor. Next, what will happen? 
it can be magic. So the first step you have to take today, link is in the description. Please take your first step. Join us for Molecular Biology Internship, which is starting from 15th of June. We are starting first with the virtual internship wherein you can sit in your home and attend the theory part. And then once you are ready on 3rd of July, you will be walking into our labs and you will do the 15 days of wet lab internship. So it's a 30 days uh, complete uh, internship and of course, there'll be some live projects, live assignments, which you have to do and you have to present your, um, you know, findings of the internships and all that challenges will be there. So I wish you all the best for the internship. In case you have any questions, you can write to me personally at shaker at biotechnica.org or you can comment below. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Keep rocking.